So what, uh, where did the trumpet interchange uh, originate from? And the origins, of course, are quite really obvious. You find that the trumpet interchange was named after an instrument called the trumpet, and you find that the bell of basically the instrument, which is the trumpet, uh, can be seen on a trumpet interchange where you find it's the semi-directional loop that I talked about, where it's terminating into the continuous highway. And this is where the origins came from. And trumpet interchanges, you find they're used normally where one highway terminates into another highway, whether an expressway or a highway. These are situations where you find uh, they are most commonly used. But also, uh, there are situations where trumpet interchanges are normally used, uh, especially if you have a closed toll system. Because a closed toll system, uh, these are highlighted earlier in the course, the difference between an open toll system and a closed toll system. And the beauty with this is that they end up concentrating all the entering and exiting traffic into a single stretch of road. And then too, you find that uh, the sections where you have maybe a non-freeway spa connection and the only way you can terminate it is by use of a trumpet interchange. Then the other situations where you find uh, that the freeway, uh, it basically, uh, they are contiguous for a short distance and then they diverge after that. And you find those situations, you have to use a trumpet interchange. And then the situations where you find that in future, you don't need uh, to, uh, you don't need to use the quadrant. There's an unused quadrant. Nails are referring to the loops. Uh, you don't think you shall need that expansion, most likely you go with the trumpet interchange rather than uh, going with something like maybe a partial clover leaf or something. Now, this is an example that is just showing uh, the idea we were talking about before. This is a trumpet interchange and there are sections where you add another quadrant. This is to allow people coming on the main line to use this uh, ramp. Uh, this is located in Singapore and then they can access facilities along the um, northern side of the interchange. So what are the different elements of, uh, of the trumpet interchange? So we always have something we call the freeway ramp terminal. It's an exit terminal, so that means you're exiting off the, uh, off the highway or express or whatever you call it, or we just use motorway. And after that, you proceed into something called a semi-directional ramp, which I'm going to details in regards to that. Then there's a component here, which we call the loop. Uh, this is a free way entry ramp that allows people to come in this direction to access the. Then we have a bridge or structure. And then after that, we have again uh, the outer connector ramps. And we have a freeway exit ramp terminal connecting to the ramp. And then we have an entry ramp terminal. On the other side, we have a freeway exit ramp terminal uh, connecting to a connector ramp, and then we have a freeway entry ramp terminal. Again, just to show you on the interchange which we're going to be designing, the trumpet which we're going to be designing, the ones in yellow are the outer connector ramps. We have the main road, uh, those are the noses, or the ramp and go, which I saw we designed that. We have the bridge structure, we have the loop in red and then we have the semi-directional ramp. 